Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, the enemy knows that if he limits your praying, then he will limit your effectiveness against him. When you find that secret place with me in my presence, go there often, my child, and wait until I renew your strength each and every day. When you stay in my will, you remain safe from the devil's snares. Therefore, submit your will to me each and every day within my presence and you will be given the grace to resist him and overcome the enemy. Therefore, keep seeking me daily and fight the good fight of faith, my child, and know that your prayers to me are effective. For I am teaching you to pray effectively each and every day with understanding, along with the power of my Holy Spirit that is backing you. So whatever the devil and his agents are planning against you or your family today, just draw near near to me and know that their plans will not work for my shield of protection surrounds you my child when you call upon me i will deliver you each and every time you will not waste your life my child for you will finish the course that i have placed you upon and you will finish well my grace will be sufficient for you in all you do and you will run the race to the very end my child for i who started that good work in you i will finish it no matter how far away you or those that you love may have drifted away at times know that repentance still has power to translate one from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light and give everyone a new beginning who calls upon my name. Keep confessing my promises as you stay close to me each day. Remember, my child, whenever you are watching and waiting upon my return and waiting upon me to open doors for you, ensure that my timing is always perfect. Before you step out, forward my child so that everything will work together for your good and for my glory for when you run ahead of me doing things in your own strength and trying to make things happen you will have the potential of birthing an ishmael my child rather than waiting upon my holy spirit to bring about my promised perfect will for your life when storms come in the natural all other birds will seek shelter or are blown into the direction the wind is blowing but an eagle alone avoids the storm by using that storm to fly above it so remember in the storms of life that you will experience rise above my child rise above in prayer yes let your heart soar above like an eagle and if the devil who comes to kill steal and to destroy attacks you and even happens to attack or steal things in the natural you still have me my child for though you may lose everything in me you still have everything you need yes for i am the only one that can restore all things back to you my child that the devil has stolen from you therefore know that greater Things are yet to come within your life as you press forward to the higher calling that I have placed upon your life. Even at times when you have felt like giving up on me in the past, my child, know that I have never given up on you. Though others may have given up on you, I have promised I will never leave you or forsake you. See, my child, I created each of you to have limitations. And at times you will let each other down, especially if you have put your trust in man rather than me alone. There was a time in your past where you attempted to let go of me because you were deceived to put your your trust in the frailty of man over me but I still never let you go my child never there was a moment in your journey 
where your belief in me had wavered because of a certain disappointment. But I still never stop believing in you, my child, as you are the apple of my eye. See, there's a reason why you're still alive even today. Because I'm not done with you yet. Yes, for greater things are yet to come in your life. As you learn to submit and yield to me daily, I will bring all things to pass. Remember, it is I who give you eternal life and you will never perish and no one shall snatch you away from me. Therefore, now is not the time to develop a negative attitude or become disappointed for the season is about to change and you're going to take off and reach to those higher places, those higher spaces, those new levels that you were always meant to obtain. That's right, my child. Once you come out on the other side of this trial, of this tri tribulation that you've been passing through, you will have a testimony for others to witness that with faith in me and my word, you will be able to say that all things are possible. So as you wait upon me today, be strong and be courageous and keep the faith for you are about to change and be moved into the direction that I wish for you to move in, my child. Know that I am with you. Know that I am for you and just yield to me daily and see my hand move in your favor. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible tells us according to Daniel 11.32, it says, Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Hallelujah. Jesus also said, according to John 14 verse 12, it said, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Hallelujah, precious saints. Many wonder today, does God still do miracles? Does he still heal? Does he still cleanse lepers? Does he still raise the dead? Many even try to discount God's miracles, not even happening in the church today because there is no need for it. But God is the same yesterday, today and forever. Many may use a miracle in the Bible even to say, if God does this for me, then I know it was the same as God parting the Red Seas. But the truth is, God is a miraculous God. Many may even read the Bible stories and wonder why such miracles aren't taking place in their own lives. Now, according to Ecclesiastes 7.10, it has some wisdom here. It says, do not say... Why were the former days better than these? For you do not inquire wisely concerning this. Hallelujah. This is God saying to us, hey, don't look at why God did it before and why he's not doing it now, rather than say, God, I am willing to do greater things for you. Haggai the prophet, according to chapter 2 verse 9, said, the glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. God wants to do something because you are a living temple and his Peace dwells inside of you. His power, his anointing is inside of you. See, such extraordinary miracles still happen, but they happen only when they are needed. See, the Red Sea had to be split for the Israelites to escape annihilation. When Jesus came to the scene, he did something greater. He walked on the sea, according to Matthew 14, verse 25. Now, I've also heard stories in revival where people have also walked on water because they've escaped from, from different situations. And after even Jesus had gone, Philip had much support 
superb experience. He didn't have to go to the sea. The Holy Spirit carried him from where he was to where he needed to be, according to Acts 8, verse 39 to 40. He translated. He translated. And God can still do that with us today. Hallelujah. So in my previous years of ministry as a missionary, I would spend many months away in all sorts of foreign uh, international countries, doing outreaches, doing crusades, doing revival services, reaching the very remote villages to see how people in different parts of the world would receive the miraculous things of God. And most of the time, the people were so hungry for God, they were so desperate for a miracle, God would visit them. They were hungry. They wouldn't run to a doctor because one, they didn't have a doctor in their area, or two, they didn't have enough money to even go to the doctor. So God was doing something so awesome. See, you see today, miracles are even greater than they had even been back then. You know why? Because we have the internet. We have social media platforms to reach people in locations that maybe I and many others may never have been able to travel to in person. But through YouTube, or Facebook, or any other type of uh, media platform, we can reach right into your living room, right into your car, right into your workplace, right at your most vulnerable time. And God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, can touch you. Precious saints, we belong to that generation of the church that will usher in the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to a church that is spot and blameless and has prepared itself. He is saying to you today, I am going to use you as you yield yourself to me, as you allow yourself to go through the sanctification process, that I may consecrate you for greater things, that you will be used to shake the nations, to shake the world around you with his exploits before his return. God has a plan to do and to use you in that plan. So let us pray, precious saints, because God wants to do greater exploits in your life and in your children's life, in your spouse's life and those that are around you. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the word that you've given to the church by which greater works are done today. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we will accomplish greater things in this world as well by the power of the Holy Spirit that is within us. Father God, our delight is to do your will. And we pray, Lord, that we may learn to walk by means of the Spirit more and more with every passing day. Your word assures us that if we walk in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh and we will be walking according to the will of the Father and live in perfect submission to the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Keep us, Lord, I pray, looking unto you always, walking in the Spirit and truth and trusting you with our whole hearts. Lord, we pray that in all things we would seek your face, listen to your gentle promptings and respond to your still small voice of conscience. Help us to live a godly life, a blameless life before you, where we esteem others as better even than ourselves. Keep us Lord, keep us from engaging in any form of conflict, but rather may we exhibit an attitude of grace and forbearance and that only can come from you. Fill us with your love, your compassion. Teach us day by day to walk in the Spirit, to live in the Spirit, to pray in the Spirit and in truth and use, Lord, every aspect of our life that we will bring a furtherance to your kingdom by your spirit's help to your praise and glory lord we thank you father let your name be known through us more each day you are the great physician please reveal yourself to us and use us to win millions for you you are the greater provider you are jehovah jireh 
Lord, please reveal yourself to us and use us to help the needy that also need to be provided for. You are the great Prince of Peace. Please reveal yourself to us and use us to bring peace to many lives. You are the great deliverer. Please reveal yourself to us and use us to set the captives free. You are the great Savior. Please reveal yourself to us more today and use us to win millions of souls in the name of Jesus. You are Jehovah El Shaddai. Please reveal yourself to us and use us to do great exploits all over the world through whatever means. Almighty God, please perform wonders for us and through us so that we will become a beautiful wonder to this lost generation. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. You will impart yourself and your gifting upon each person today that as they are preparing themselves Lord that you would use them to do greater exploits today touch them and fill them this day in Jesus mighty name we pray amen praise the Lord and the Lord has given me specific instructions through a word of knowledge to rebuke all these spirits that are coming against the people of God, the saints of God today. So just receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want you to place your hand upon your stomach right now as I declare and decree that the enemy is no longer have a hold over your life in Jesus mighty name. The Bible says whatever we bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loosen on this earth shall be loosened in heaven. So get ready to receive your freedom today in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of depression right now. I bind you right now, spirit of depression, and I command you to manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of depression, you must go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of that person. Go back to the pit of hell now, now, now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of hopelessness. There is someone that is experiencing hopelessness right now that may even come and go or is upon you right now. I command that spirit right now. I bind you with a threefold cord according to Ecclesiastes 4.12 right now. And I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will manifest yourself right now. You will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of loneliness. There is someone that is experiencing loneliness. I come against that spirit of loneliness that is coming against that person right now that may also come and go. And I command you to you can manifest yourself right now. You will come out of that person. You will go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of addiction. There is someone here with an issue with gluttony, with food. There is someone here with an issue with, with consumption of alcohol. There is someone in need of deliverance from also cigarettes and also drugs and or medication that you've been addicted to. I command right now that spirit of addiction. I address you right now in the name of death. Also someone that has an addiction and is doing something abnormal. There are some people that eat certain things that are weird you know there's some people that you meet and there's some some weird behavior that you've had even as a child and you find yourself doing it you could be, be eating cardboard or you could be even eating something that is not good for you and God is saying that that weird behavior which is connected to the addiction is going to leave your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ I come against you you will manifest yourself right now your spirit of addiction you will come out of that person go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of greed. You find that you're just a greedy person. You're hoarding everything in your home. You're hoarding things. You just have this greedy thing. You're not a sharing person at all. You count every penny and you're just, you just, you just, you, you just find it hard. This thing is taking over you. I command that spirit of greed inside of you. You will manifest yourself right now and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also come against the spirit of lust. 
you're finding it difficult. There is a spirit of lust that is around you and it seemed to also attract the wrong people to you. And also there is an addiction there that's connected uh, to masturbation and also someone that is watching pornography and all the different things that are connected to lust. And God is saying that he's even going to change your wardrobe so you don't dress to attract people with lust. So God is saying he's going to change that situation right now. I command that spirit of lust right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will manifest yourself right now. You will manifest yourself right now. You will come out of that person and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of Jezebel also that is operating, that is manipulating, working with the spirit of lust. I command you, spirit of Jezebel, come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them right now, right now, right now. Go, 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 go. There is a spirit of infirmity. There's a sickness that just keeps on coming on. Meaning one, you've got one sickness, then you go to another sickness, then you go on to the, you constantly seem to be getting sick and it's a spirit of infirmity that is upon you to oppress you. I command that spirit of infirmity, you will manifest yourself right now. You will come under the obedience of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command you devil, you will come out of that person, go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also come against a spirit Spirit of rejection. People have rejected you, even going back to your school years, even going back to your childhood, even going to your marriage, even going to uh, areas of family members around you in the workplace, wherever it is, it's rejection seems to come around you. And I'm going to command that spirit of rejection. You will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command you in the name of Jesus, you will come out of that person and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've already seen you leave now. Leave. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Also come against a spirit of pride. There is a pride in you that even stops reaching out for help. It even stops you from, from, from taking correction and whatnot. And it's mixed also with the spirit of rebellion. So watch out for that spirit and that behavior because it's not of God. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I come against that spirit of pride right now. You will manifest yourself right now in that person. You will leave them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That foul spirit is leaving you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against a spirit of anxiety because anxiety leads to depression, but I'm going to command that spirit that comes across when you hear news, when the certain situations come, you have anxiety, when trouble comes, whatever it is, that spirit will come out of you and go back to the pit of hell right now. I command you, go, 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 leave them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against a spirit of fear. The Bible says I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. I command that spirit of fear, fear of animals, fear of insects, fear of closed spaces, fear of the dark, fear of people, fear of bad things happening to you, losing things, whatever it is, whatever that fear is, I command that spirit of fear, you will manifest yourself right now, you will come out of the person, go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of death. That spirit of death, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's been hanging around your household. It's been hanging around your life. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of them. You will manifest yourself right now. You will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. I speak life into that person. Life into that person. You will come out of them. Go. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray you will baptize your people with the Holy Ghost and fire right now. Lord, come and fill them. Fill every void where every evil spirit is left right now. Every sickness is leaving their bodies right now under the power of the Holy Ghost that is here right now to deliver your people, to set them free that by your stripes they are healed. You've given us all authority. You've given us all authority authority for what you did in the finished work of the cross of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe 
Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, I encourage you, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's not by chance that this video has been recommended to you, has been forwarded to you. Hit that, that, that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to make sure you're getting everything sent to you daily as the uploads come, as the utterance comes. But the Holy Ghost is upon this message today. The Holy Ghost is delivering His people today. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. I encourage you to forward these things to your inboxes, to all your social media, because Pastor Robert doesn't ask for any money. There is no catch. It's just free. Jesus did it all on the cross. And this is a, a healthy ministry you can forward to people that they can receive their deliverance free of charge, visiting them in their homes, wherever they are, meeting their needs today. So you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Don't forget, we've got the Friday corporate fastings every Friday, and we've got the up and coming three days. Some people are saying, when is it? It's coming soon. I'll wait for the Holy Spirit to come and show me exactly what needs to happen. So get ready to receive it for July. It's coming very soon, people. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord fill you and surround you in His favor be upon you this very day. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you, precious saints. We are praying for you. And don't forget to watch out for any people scamming to say they are Pastor Robert because Pastor Robert never Never ask for money. So if someone starts asking for money, you know it ain't Pastor Robert. We do this free of charge for you. If you are spirit led and God tells you to give, then that's between you and God. But we never ask for money. So no, if someone's asking for money, someone's scamming you, be careful. Let us know. Let us report those people and let's pray those people come into repentance that they may come and also catch the fire of repentance revival also. So God bless you today. Shalom, shalom, shalom.